Martina Anderson, Sinn Féin, MEP, Podrick Pierce, Common Dura. The, the petition of Ireland was without doubt a catastrophe. And the DUP Tory Brexiteers are trying to do their best to reinforce it by sticking a harder border on our island. Now, I'm not going to elaborate on where hard and soft borders can be put. Sunshine got its fair bit of attention. <laughs> Suffice to say that Sinn Féin will not tolerate partition be being reinforced. We are, as Matt Carthy so rightly said, we are the generation that will end it. The DUP, the DUP got a substantial number of hundreds of thousands of pounds from its alleged Saudi Arabia intelligence for Brexit. It's always about the money for that lot. What, but what we all know, what can be bought can be sold. So it'll take more than money. And Ireland, as we all know, is a very special place. So affording special status to Ireland within the EU is absolutely viable. I have the legal advice, independent legal advice here, that shows how designated special status for the North to remain in the EU is possible. In fact, it's not only possible, it's essential. And the work we Sinn Féin MEPs have done in the European Parliament has had a significant influence on how people understand Ireland and our peace and political processes. And that has had, without doubt, a real absolute impact on the Brexit negotiations. If Brexit is good for one thing, it has been that it has laid bare the hostility of the Tories and the DUP to human rights, citizens' rights, plus social and economic rights. It reveals the fundamental dishonesty of the British government, and it reveals how little that they care about Ireland. They don't give a damn. And the people across the EU are starting to get it. They get just how toxic, toxic the Tory DUP alliance is. They get that Brexit is on a direct collision course with the Good Friday Agreement. And they get that the Good Friday Agreement in all of its parts, which was what Sinn Féin got inserted into resolutions in the European Parliament, means much, much more than borders and institutions, important as they all are. It means no regression on rights, rights so despised by the DUP and by the British government. It means a common regulatory framework across the island, north and south. Fundamentally, it means that the north has to stay within the single market and the custom union. Of that, there is no doubt. Can you imagine, can any of us imagine, two different food standards operating across this island? For instance, could you imagine that the children of Derry would be subjected to a lower standard of food safety, but the children of Donegal would have a higher standard? That cannot, cannot be allowed to happen, and we are the generation that's going to ensure that it doesn't happen. The Good Friday Agreement is an international treaty. It was lodged at the United Nations and it is binding in case the DUP and the British government forget that point and there will be no dilution of it. There will be no alteration of it. There will be no regression of the protections that are built into it. Brexit has brought into sharp focus 
the contradictions of petition. So to you, the people, to you, the people who have voted for it and for the generation, the younger generation, who want to see it upheld, it is up to you, as Mary Lou said, to stand with us and to defend the Good Friday Agreement in all of its parts. And that includes our right to decide, right to decide what union we want to be a part of. Well, comrades, England's difficulties are Ireland's opportunities. Irish unity. Irish unity is achievable. Irish unity is deliverable. And Brexit. Brexit shows us that Irish unity is inevitable. And for Martin McGuinness, we say, we will win for the people and the towns that he loves so well. For me, Margaret Galair, thank